go ahead and get ourselves started. We are going from Aries all the way down through to Pisces, and we are going to be doing our message for the week ahead. What is coming forward for each zodiac sign for the week ahead? You can always rewatch on Temperance and Sage on YouTube. I am live there right now. So if you're interested in rewatching for your zodiac sign, or there's a portion of the message that maybe you didn't hear quite well and you want to go ahead uh, and re listen to it, check me out, Temperance and Sage on YouTube. So let's get started here. We're starting off with Aries. Let me not be a idiot here and let me put up the signs. Where did my signs go? And the computer, of course. Sorry there, TikTok. I went and smacked you. And now you can't see. All right, there we go. So starting off with the zodiac sign of Aries, let's see the week ahead message for the zodiac sign of Aries. Aries, you are avoiding something here. Look at this tower card coming forward in the reverse. Just move that up there a smidge. Tower card coming forward in the reverse with the justice card. I really like this for you finding a balance. It looks like you're avoiding something this week and avoiding like a downfall, something going wrong, and you're finding a way to make things work. So if you've been having trouble getting the rhythm of something, I see you really working it out in your favor. Maybe you were having trouble building something up. You're wanting to build up in your career. You're wanting to get a new career. You're trying to build up your business. You're trying to build up uh, a relationship, right? And you're finding that you need to have some sort of rhythm to make things work or to find something out here to balance things out and move things forward. It looks like this week you're finding that rhythm. You're finding that way to move things ahead so that you don't end up having a collapse, having things fall apart, you know, having things not move forward in the way that you want them to. And you're finding this sense of value here as well. So I see a really good energy coming forward for you here, Aries, a lot of stability, a lot of money coming your way. Um, this is a really good card for connecting with family or making long-term energy here really build up in your life. So I do like this for you. You have Scorpio, Libra, as well as the air sign or the earth signs, I should say, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So your romance message that's coming ahead is playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. The more fun you have, the more in the moment you'll be, the less worried you'll be, the more things will flow, and it'll just overall be a much better energy here for you to be able to move forward into. So let's grab your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. And again, Aries, if you've missed your reading or if you want to rewind, join me on YouTube, Temperance and Sage on YouTube, and you can rewatch for the uh, message there as well. Temperance and Sage on YouTube. I actually even see the word Aries come up in here as well. So you might be dealing with another Aries or it's just an important energy for you this week to like trust in yourself build up in your energy and to just find this really smooth really good rhythm the cat did attack the card yes oh my gosh i was like where did aries go the cats had you and and just destroyed you <laughs> the cat said no aries never mind with you guys <laughs> so let's see for taurus Zodiac sign of Taurus. Let us see what is the week ahead message. What is the week ahead message come forward here for Taurus? All right. Taurus, it looks like you're taking a chance on something. And I don't see this being like the fool of you're just kind of walking blindly into a new beginning. I see you looking at this and saying, okay, this is a really calculated risk for me to take, but I'm going to take my chances and move forward with it. It could be that you're just piling a lot on your plate saying, I got to get this done. I got to get that done. Then I got to get this done and saying, yes, I can handle it all at one point in time. Even though I'm not quite sure how it's going to come forward, I can handle it. This 
this could say, you know what, I'm going to take a step up and make this my responsibility, right? Because the page of swords is trying to figure out a way to make something happen, to gain information, to move something forward in this pathway of the unknown with the moon. So it seems like there's something going on this week with you where you're saying, I'm not quite where, you know, sure where this is going to lead, but... I'm going to try and not limit myself here and I'm going to take the responsibility or like take on this energy here to move it forward, to make it happen, to like see some sort of momentum come forward into my life instead of waiting for things to come forward towards me or waiting for somebody else to take action. I'm just going to jump into the deep end here and see where it's going to go. If you're waiting on communication from somebody, I do see it being okay for you to reach out to them instead of waiting for you to get the, the word to come forward from them. Um, I see it as perfectly fine for you to send the text message, for you to send the, you know, hey, how are you doing? What's up? Haven't heard from you in a while. I see that message being quite okay here. Um, if you're somebody who's maybe working a lot of overtime this week, or you just have a million and one things to do this week, I see it all working out perfectly fine. You're going to realize, you know, oh gosh, I can actually handle a lot more than I was putting on my plate to begin with. And I can really find a way through things, even though at looking at it at first, I might be really unsure about what's going to happen. It's like you find this reassuring energy in yourself that you can handle things. We have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So if you want somebody, think about them, visualize them. What does it look like when it comes to your love life? What does it look like when it comes to like being at that point that you want to be, right? Speak it out to the universe. So let's see for your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. You have water signs, Cancer, and Pisces. You also have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as well as air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So these are your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. We have a wild one coming forward there, and this you decided to jump off the table here. So that's what we've got going on for Taurus, sun, moon, rising sign. If you need an extra minute to go ahead and see what the message is here for you, join me on YouTube, Temperance and Sage on YouTube. I am live there right now so that you can go ahead and rewatch at any point in time. So let's go ahead with our next zodiac sign. And thank you so much, everybody, for liking the video as well. I really do appreciate it. It helps everybody know that we're alive. I'm going live every Monday as well as a Friday now. So feel free to join me on those days. So let's see for the zodiac sign of Gemini. What does the week ahead message come forward for Gemini? All right, taking back your power and being very rested in the moment. I think that there's some sort of realization of like, you got yourself to where you want to be or the good things that came forward towards you have come because you've played a part in like getting them to come your way. So King of Wands to me says you're recognizing your power over the course of the week of like bringing things towards you and being confident in being able to take action towards things in your life. But I also feel like there's a rested energy that's coming forward too with the Four of Swords, Six of Cups of like putting the past to rest, saying, you know what, I can't change the past. I should have done this. I should have done that. So what? I can't change it. I'm going to go ahead and find peace in the present moment and recognize my power that I have within me today to go ahead and change tomorrow. Like there's some sort of recognizing your power while also just being at peace in the present moment. I see this week being very, very restful for you. So no drama, no issues. Everything is just going to move forward very smoothly. Um, you might even find more time in the day with this temperance as well as a four of swords. You know how there's sometimes the day moves by so quickly and you blink and you have to go to bed. There's other times where you're like, wow, I did so many things today and it's only noon, right? It's that sort of energy coming ahead here. Like you're going to realize you have more time in the day over the course of the week and things just feel a little bit more peaceful. Maybe you're making some good memories in the home as well with this six of cups, four of swords, and you're just overall recognizing recognizing this power that you have with inside of you. If you have any sort of disagreements with anybody, it looks like you're going to find a way to put those to rest and find a balance between you two as well. So I really do like that. We have two cards coming ahead in there, one upside down, one upside right. 
We have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. We're all parenting for the first time, whether it be parenting for the first child, parenting for the second child, parenting to the third, or we're the Duggars and we're parenting for the 20th. Each one is a new experience and we're still learning to live life as we go along. So even though your parent might have looked like they knew it all, they were still living that age for the first time. They were still living that experience for the first time. And they were also still living that experience of learning how to deal with you at your age for the first time, right? So forgiving them for what they, you know, perhaps lacked at in some sort of ways can really help you in moving forward. Even if your parents were fantastic, we can still look at that and say they were fantastic. And so they set you up with not really realistic viewpoint of what the rest of the world looks like because there's not always fantastic relationships out there. Sometimes Sometimes you have to be able to recognize where those relationships are not good in order to navigate towards the good ones. Now we also have heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is that four of swords energy that I was feeling with the temperance card of if you're having any sort of disagreements with anybody, I see them moving away. I see a really good balanced energy coming forward. Also, if you wanted to express something to somebody, I feel this way, I feel for you, whatever, whatever, whatever. I see it being reciprocated when it comes to this energy. Really, really good talk to be able to come forward here. So let's dive into your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. Words. We have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I will grab you some more because this is very, very little. I see the word note. So maybe there's like sending off of a note. Oh gosh, if you've been writing that note in your notes app, you delete that. <laughs> Just leave that be. If you, you need more peace in your life, if you're there writing in your notes app, that never ends up very good, my dear. So leave that alone if that's the case scenario here. If you are there, please. That's not a good place to be. I also see the word sorry coming forward. But again, this is an open one. So you can go ahead and throw anything into that slot there too. But this is what I've got going on for Gemini. Keep in mind, you can always go ahead and rewatch on YouTube at any point in time. I am live there right now. So head over there, check it out, pause it, rewind it if you would like. We are moving on to our next zodiac sign, which is Cancer. So for the zodiac sign of Cancer, let's see what the week ahead message has for you. Thank you, thank you as well, everybody who's liking the video. I really do appreciate it. So let us see. Zodiac sign of Cancer right away, not even waiting. We have the Page of Swords. Somebody is trying to get your attention or you're going to receive some sort of news this week. It might be really eye-opening, especially with the idea of the... Uh, hanged man coming forward here some eye-opening news you see somebody else's perspective here come forward and then we also have the two of cups come ahead so there is a really eye-opening experience that's going to be coming forward here this week you're going to learn about yourself you're going to learn about somebody else it gives an opportunity to like reflect here's my perspective here's your perspective it doesn't have to be in love. It could be connecting with your parents. It could be connecting with a friend. It could be connecting with a coworker, realizing why, you know, Chatty Cathy is the way that she is. It could be that, right? Um, it's a really good energy about being able to see the outside world and then take that information and see, oh, this is how I should move forward then. This is what I should do. I see, you know, somebody else fail when it comes to a project and now I know how not to do that, right? I see somebody else succeed when it comes to a project and now I know the pathway on how to do that. It's like connecting with the world around you in a better way and in turn that allows you to connect with yourself in a better way. So do know that the week ahead is going to be around a lot of growth. I don't see it being a tower moment so there's not going to be like a tear down the existence that you know in order to get something new. 
But I do see it being like a deeper sense of peace within yourself, as well as peace within your surroundings, kind of learning the lesson of why you are, you know, where you are right now, and then kind of how to get where you want to be as well, like recognizing your pathway ahead. I really like this energy. You might be connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You might be connecting with a Virgo or with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might also realize over the course of the week when it comes to romantic relationships on how like if you grow, then the relationship grows, right? If you lack grow growth, then the relationship might lack growth as well. We have two cards coming forward. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others ask questions, page of swords, right? Don't just sit there thinking that we know everything. You probably know 1% about whatever is going on in the world. So ask some questions. Somebody else knows another percent. All of a sudden we ask 99 people and we're up to 99%. <laughs> then we also have love yourself first. Your, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's the hermit. The more effort and energy you put into yourself to grow yourself, the better you're going to be in relationships. If relationships are stagnant and they don't grow, that's how people end up growing apart, right? It, it doesn't allow opportunities to connect on a deeper level. So as you are loving yourself, putting effort and energy into yourself, your relationships are going to grow. So let's go ahead and grab our most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. And the orange is a wild card. It doesn't have anything on it. I think it has a star. No, nothing on it. The other one has a star, the purple one. So you can go ahead and put anything in that. But these are your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. Immediately, I see the word date coming on this side here. So it looks like maybe there could be a date coming forward here. Maybe you guys are setting a date for something. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to travel and you're like learning the perspectives beyond what you know because you know, you're know you traveling to a new place, right? And so you're setting the date for when you're gonna go travel. That could be that as well. But let me know what you see because it's always so interesting what everybody gravitates towards. All right, so that is for Cancer. We're going on to Leo. If you've missed your zodiac sign, join me on YouTube, Temperance and Sage on YouTube. You can rewatch it immediately. I'm live there as well. So let's see for Leo. For Leo for the week ahead, what is the message for Leo? I am live every Monday as well as Friday. So join me live Monday and Friday to do our zodiac signs. So Leo. All right. So two messages, first message. I see throughout the week, you're going to realize ways that you've been holding yourself back on how you can reach a certain point of happiness or you know what you should be doing, but you've been holding yourself back. This doesn't have to be like a ground, you know, breaking idea. It could just be the more of the, the space of like, I know I should get off the couch and like cook something, but I'm, I, I'm instead just going to snack on some like random, random food that I have in the fridge, right? That could just be the space of like, you know, you could have more happiness and enjoying your meals, if maybe you cook something instead of snacking on the random things in your fridge, right? Just as something as simple as that. Um, I also see though this idea of like realizing an opportunity that perhaps you didn't think was possible or you didn't even know of, and now you're like, I wanna go do that. Seven of Cups is a card of fantasy. And because we immediately go to the Eight of Cups, it's like we figure things out really quickly. So we figure out fantasy and bring it down to reality. And we realize Ten of Cups, we can find happiness. This can be, you know, you're thinking, oh, I don't even know what job to do. There's so many jobs out there. You know, I, every day I see something new about what is a possible career and how am I supposed to even pick something? All of a sudden, you didn't know this information and boom, this information comes forward towards you saying, here's this job. Maybe you do like a personality test, right? And it's like, here's this personality test and here's this job that aligns with it. And you go, oh my God, that is actually genius for me. I would love to be a interior designer for 
cafes in Italy, right? And it's like, wow, I didn't know that I could even do that as a specific career. I didn't know people would pay me for that. And all of a sudden, here you are finding the pathway to go ahead and do that. There's that sort of energy that's coming forward this week for you of figuring out something that would bring you a lot of happiness, bring you a community, bring you closer with people in your community, and just kind of figure things out that go from a place of saying, I don't know what the possibility is, or I don't even know how to make this a good thing, to here's the direction of making it a good thing to come forward towards me. If you're confused about how somebody feels about you, this is a big in. This is a big one for that. Because we go from somebody holding back communication, ideas, their thought process, we're feeling super confused. What are you feeling for me? What are you thinking? I have no idea. To all of a sudden, here we are creating this community together and we're having happiness right so a really good energy if somebody has been kind of holding back on you and you've been confused about what they're feeling we have two cards come forward I'm really hesitant on grabbing this one so we're going to go ahead and put that one back I just feel like because this one flipped over we'll go with this one so we have the card chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you and this person, there's a strong magnetic attraction between the two of you to push things forward, to desire uh, each other. So maybe that's what's going to be expressed this week too. You have heavy water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, as well as air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. And these are your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. What do I see? <laughs> I see nine. Nine is the only thing that we're missing here, right? Seven, eight, where's the nine? Maybe there's something to do with finding fulfillment within yourself, finding some sort of happiness for yourself. And this kind of answer to finding your happiness allows you to be around a community or find happiness in your own family. You know, that could be what it is as well. Because we're missing that nine of cups, which is like self-contentment, -content right? Sitting in your manifestations. So that's what I would say for Leo. Uh, if you've missed Leo's reading and you'd like to rewatch it or any of the other zodiac signs that we've already done, Temperance and Sage on YouTube, Feel free to go ahead and rewatch it there. I'm live right now. So let's go ahead for Virgo and see for the week ahead what's going on here for the zodiac sign of Virgo for the week ahead. Thank you as well, everybody, for liking the video. I appreciate it. All right. You're definitely having a change in luck, Virgo. Um, if you've been kind of wondering, when is it my time to get the go ahead? Uh, why am I not getting the, the signs or the signals from spirit? Or why am I not getting something more clear that something's supposed to happen or move forward? Or, you know, like, why am I not giving the just a green light on the highway here. Um, I do see the opportunity to have more communication with spirit and have things really work out in your favor over the week, uh, especially in unsuspecting ways. If you've been looking for clear, clear signs of, yes, you feel this way about me, or yes, this is going to work out, like just wanting to know something so deeply and you're looking around saying, why am I just not getting it splattered on a billboard? We do see this energy coming forward towards you, but in different ways. I would say as well, instead of looking for things to be so like blatantly obvious in front of you in terms of a sign, look at more of the subtleties of a situation here. Look at where you maybe find a little bit more peace or you find a little bit more excitement about you know the, the thought of your desire, your manifestation, right? Um, I would also say here too, Eight of Swords, you know, watch where other people are saying things. Watch where people kind of sway you away from your, your wants. Watch where people kind of tell you, oh, I don't know how that's possible. Or do you really want to go out with them? Or do you really want to do this? Do you really want to do that? Right? Like, don't allow other people to put their own limitations on you. Allow you to navigate your life and look forward towards excitement with the direction you want to go into it with. But... Over the course of the week, you're going to find a lot of peace. It's really good energy for finding things just kind of connect and flow and also having a lot of luck on your side because you have Sagittarius energy come forward to this, which is Jupiter ruling planet luck. But then we also have Jupiter ruling planet luck. So you have double major arcana cards that bring in double the formation of luck. So it's really good lucky week for you, my dear. Uh, if you want something, speak it out into the universe with all that luck coming forward. Even if you're unsure about how it's going to come ahead, it looks like it can come forward. 
So let us see. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So if you're feeling, you know, unsure, eight of swords about how somebody else is feeling, what's going on, three of wands, you're looking out and saying, ah, I'm trying to get a reaction from you here to see what you want, how you're feeling, what you're doing. There's a strong magnetic attraction here between the two of you. I think it's very interesting on how this card, I'm trying to show TikTok and YouTube at once here. These people are both looking here. They're not looking at each other. So maybe you're looking from a sign here. They're looking from a sign here, but you're not actually looking at each other, right? So there's a strong attraction. There's a strong energy going on. Maybe we just kind of have to look at it a little bit of a different way. Alrighty, so these are your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. What do I see come forward here? I see the word race. So maybe you guys are having a race. Maybe somebody's in a running race or something. I don't know. Is that the season for this? Or is it more around uh, May time that there's more races going on? I don't know. You also have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as well as air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I want to sign up for a race, but I don't know. <laughs> Another day. Let's go ahead with Libra. Sun, moon, rising sign. Let's see what we got going on with the zodiac sign of Libra. The cats have turned on the printer behind me. Hope they don't put the little fingies in there. <laughs> we, we will hear, I guess, right? So let us see. Oh my gosh. Let me turn that off. You guys, what are you even printing? test <laughs> oh my god running a whole printer test here libra <laughs> this cat is always up to something libra so maybe there's one of those people that are in your life that you're like what are you doing now right and they're like would you like to come with me to this would you like to do that and you're like how do you even find out about these things because I swear to God, if there's some sort of trouble in my place, it is because of this cat. He is always getting the other ones in trouble. Just crazy. <laughs> Insane. Doing a whole printer test. All right, Libra. Three of Cups. Look at that. If your friends invite you out, go. The one thing that I love about this cat, even though he drives me absolutely insane, is that he's hilarious. It's like having a little television show always on. So three of cups, there's gonna be something good happening with your friends this week. Go out with them. You will have a blast with that three of cups energy, especially if it's around doing something new with this uh, page of wands coming forward. New adventure, fun, it's going to be good. Don't talk yourself out of it here with this high priestess eight of swords. I think also just in general, this week is going to be good for just surrounding yourself with things that are uplifting um, making yourself feel fun making yourself feel good really removing any sort of um, like subconscious or back of the mind naysaying any sort of you know maybe I shouldn't do this or maybe I shouldn't do that um, maybe you know what are gonna, people going to say things like that it seems like we're swiping away that sort of mentality over the week and we're really just allowing ourselves to move forward in a space that's fun and a space that's exciting I really like this as well for more of like being in the moment style of energy too. So really just going with the flow of the feeling of now rather than overly thinking about um, not like you have to throw your responsibilities out the window, but just more so having the fun in the moment of now, right? Um, I feel like this high priestess is calling to me a little bit. Two of cups. Okay. You might find it be a friends to lovers style of situation happen this week. 
Uh, or you might just find that as you hang out with your friends more, you start to understand a little bit more about yourself there too, but very strong for friends to lovers. Maybe you go out and you are with your friends and you end up meeting a romantic interest, or it could just be one of your romantic interests happens to be also one of your friends. So let's go ahead here on the tune of romance and we'll grab our romance angel card. All right, the romance angel card that we have is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel that strongly with the eight of swords of like thinking what other people are gonna say, what other people are going to do, you know, having other people's um, thought processes or words kind of stuck in your brain. And I don't know immediately why my, my mind is going to like dating somebody younger. It, this is not like, you know, 18 and 45. We're not talking about that here. <laughs> But sometimes if you're, say, 32 and 24, it can feel like, a, oh, I don't know what people are going to say, right? It's not that big of an age gap, right? Um, when it comes to maybe 34 and 42, right? It's not that big of an age gap. But sometimes we can feel a little bit of a way when it comes to speaking it outwards, right? Telling people things. Uh, and so we have to maybe watch over the course of the week on how we're allowing the ideas of other people to get the better of us when it comes to our happiness, our pursuits, our desires, our wants, right? That can how, you know, that energy comes forward. Um, I would also say when it comes to codependency, maybe it's around talking just in general, that eight of swords. Maybe we get a little anxious when it comes to texting, talking, maybe we attract a little bit of that anxious energy. And so we have to watch over the course of the week on how we navigate certain conversations that you know, might bring forward some of that codependency style of, of behavior, all right? So, these are lots, more than I intended to grab. <laughs> so, these are your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. We have water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming forward here as your most important zodiac signs. And that's what we've got going on for Libra. Libra, I know there are so many here, so feel free to join me on YouTube, Temperance and Sage on YouTube. I see the word fast. So maybe how fast a connection is picking up, you're worried about what people are gonna say. You know, sometimes people get married in six months and you know, the whispers start, oh, I wonder what's going on there. I wonder why they're getting married so fast. It's Cause they enjoy each other's company, mind your own business, <laughs> right? So maybe there's something about like, oh, you're really hitting it off with somebody. And you know, the, the Kathy's down the street are talking. <gasps> And it's like, just, you know, forget about what they're going to say. If you enjoy somebody's company, if you're feeling it when it comes to life, who gives a hoot? Who gives a hoot? They're just going to be like, you know, at supper time now talking about somebody else anyway. So <laughs> enjoy the free publicity they give you. All right. So let's go ahead with Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you for the week ahead. Again, Temperance and Sage on YouTube if you want to rewatch. I also have personal readings available, temperanceandsage.com. So let us see. Scorpio, you have the Seven of Cups flying out right away. You're collecting seven, Seven of Swords. All right, so... This is very interesting. When it comes to this kind of combination, I see a lot of worry about something that's not been said. So if you feel the need to express yourself, express yourself. If you feel like somebody else is not saying something to you, there will be a point in time this week where you two can talk about it. It doesn't have to be in the space of romance. It can be in work. It could be in, I don't know, anything under the sun. 
it just just this sort of space of like something is being held back it's not talked about and there's a little bit of confusion about how things can move forward happen or what can come forward out of it I think that you have a lot of potential right now to go after the things that you imagine, you manifest, you desire, uh, and I don't want you to talk yourself out of these things. And I also don't think that you need to overly keep some of these manifestations to yourself. The beauty of community is community itself. It's the fact that there's people there that can help you build up, right? Sometimes we say it's not what you know, it's who you know. So it's going to be important over the course of the week, not that you blabbermouth your dreams to everybody, but maybe seven of cups you sort through those that could help you and page of or knight of pentacles i should say you move forward with value in terms of an exchange so if you are having a dream of say i don't know let's throw it out there having a cafe you want to have a cafe you want to open a cafe uh so what do you do who knows but we can talk to people maybe who own a cafe we can go to a little coffee shop talk to people oh how long have you been open right do you have any other cafes yaka 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 we can talk to people around us and create that sort of sense of communication we can tell our dreams right maybe this person is like hey i've been looking for a little bit of an apprentice I would love it. Maybe if you stop by, you can work in the coffee shop every Tuesday, Thursday evening, and I'll show you a little bit about how to work in a coffee shop. And you're like, holy shoot, this cracks open some of the doors. It may not give me the 20K that I need to open up a coffee shop, but it gives me a bit of an idea about how to make it happen. And so this is a sense of like, you don't have to be worried about making your dreams happen for yourself. You can find a way to move things forward and it can happen through creating a community and speaking your dreams outwards. Um, I do want to say with the Knights of Pentacles, go slow this week. Don't try to be a speed racer. Not everything has to happen overnight. Sometimes our fantasies can make things look like it can happen overnight, but the best things that you know happen in life usually take time. Uh, slow come, slow go, fast come, fast go, right? So let's see in the space of love, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. If you are already in a romantic relationship, I'd like to take this card as though the two of you are like finding a new sense of self, right? You're trying to figure out how to move forward as you are, but maybe spicing things up a little bit and, and becoming new people. For those that are single, you got a new person. It's a really good energy. I would say I think that this connection has a really interesting energy to it and that we want to make it move forward really quickly, but take your time with this one. Again, slow burn is the best burn. We want the um, campfire style of love rather than the firecracker, right? So let's go ahead with your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. You have air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Immediately I see, hey, <laughs> that's what I see, I don't know. <laughs> if you need more time, uh, feel free to join me on YouTube, Temperance and Sage on YouTube. Oh my God, I have that, send it to me, Rachel, stuck in my head. I don't even know what it's about. I just keep hearing, send it to me, Rachel. Alrighty. Let's go ahead with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's see what the week ahead holds for you. Let's see, let's see. I'm also posting daily readings onto Patreon. So if you want to join me on Patreon, it's $1 for the entire month. And I'm posting messages every single day. Temperance and Sage on Patreon. The dollar is just like a, a place of support, you know. So let's go ahead. We have celebration. Good luck. Oh my God. This is just, I love this. <laughs> Good time to be a Sagittarius. First off, you are coming forward for yourself with this Wheel of Fortune. So your luck is changing this week and it's going to work out for you in a really good way. You're going to find that divine timing has just been a blessing over the course of the week and things just feel like it's constantly moving forward in the best way possible for you. You might also figure out an actual way to move forward on some of the things that you've been looking for with this 
eight of cups no more feeling like oh, i want more but i don't know how to get it no this week we're figuring out how to go ahead and kind of put the cherry on top in terms of feeling more content maybe you're done with singleness and you're like oh i actually feel really good by myself um but i met this person three of cups maybe while i was out with friends or this person was my friend right and it just feels good to be in their company and i want to explore that uh, especially with the nine of pentacles because the nine of pentacles is a really beautiful energy about you enjoying your your own self <laughs> and other people also enjoying the idea of you you the value of you who you are what you have to bring off or look like you just in, you know involved with yourself it's a really good energy of abundance so you might find a flow of abundance come forward toward you this week you might find the luck is just so much on your side you're there walking down the street and you find twenty dollars i have a, a a story to tell at the end of this about finding money on the street so i will tell you that in a second but three of cups comes forward with a really good energy of connecting with friends over the course of the week so if you have some friends that want to hang out go ahead and do that this is just celebrating you celebrating the energy around you enjoying everything that is in this week and just finding things work for you in the best way possible this is just like a week you'll want to relive <laughs> it's a really beautiful energy so let us see let us see let us see what's going on here in terms of romance we have water signs cancer pisces scorpio earth signs capricorn taurus virgo as well as sagittarius we have call in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so again you're very very lucky this week if you want something to happen speak it out visualize it write it down draw it pinterest it i don't know what else could be done but just you know put it out there uh, into the universe because it's a really good week for this energy to really gain a momentum to come forward towards you let's grab your most important initials acronyms names and words so this is what i got going on for you sagittarius sagittarius in canada our 20 dollars bills are green right i'm driving down the road minding my own business and what do I see fly through somebody's tire, somebody's back tire? I'm on a busy road and I see whoop, this back tire, a $20 green bill flying in this busy middle of the street. And I go, oh, that's $20. That's a whole $20 that's just flying in the air now because it got flipped through somebody's wheel. So I'm thinking, how do I pull over on this busy road and get this $20 bill? So I pull over in, in like the side of the road and what happens on the busiest road the busiest time it's rush hour traffic the lights stop there's nobody on the street i run out into the middle of the street and what's lying there the 20 dollars bill can you believe it on this busy street at like five o'clock it's rush hour everybody's trying to come home i had the place to just park my car <laughs> and run up there like a lunatic chasing after 20 dollars plus how did i even see it in the middle of the road flying through somebody's tire of all things right um but you never know you never know and i was on my way to um like buy a book from somebody and it costs twenty dollars so i was like this is such beautiful timing i took it as such confirmation that this is like the the information that i needed right to get this book and it was gonna work in the way that i wanted it to but you know sometimes things are incredibly surprising you know they happen in a very random reason and i wasn't looking <laughs> through people's tires for twenty dollar bills <laughs> <laughs> right but sometimes the wildest things happen so keep your your eyeballs out there sometimes you'll get confirmation in different ways thank you thank you my dear but it was so crazy i called everybody afterwards i was like you guys you're never gonna believe what happened <laughs> so let's see for capricorn what is going on here for the message for the week ahead for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, you yourself coming out there with the devil. I never worry when I see the devil come forward with Capricorn um, because I just automatically equate that to you. If we would have any sort of like 
bad energy coming ahead i would associate it with a different card just for you being the capricorn the devil card itself so we don't see anything else coming forward that's bad and so we would view capricorn energy this is the only thing that's coming forward from the devil so i see you being appreciated this week which is really really good especially when we have also this nine of pentacles coming forward because that's just viewing you as somebody who's a beautiful lovely person and it's not just like visually beautiful inside and out. This comes forward with being admired, being cherished, finding a lot of abundance energy come forward in your way. You're sitting there getting pretty much exactly what you want, especially if it's something that's like focused around long-term energy or if it's focused around money. It's a really good combination for that. Um, oh, wow. eight of pentacles. I literally didn't even see that there. But this could be you getting appreciated at work where you're getting some sort of bonus. You're getting some sort of job offer offer because people are recognizing that you are you. I really like this with the page of swords as well, because if this says, if you go and seek out an opportunity, people will recognize you for your value. So if you want a new job, if you want to get something, um, people will look at you and go, oh, it's Capricorn. Capricorn is here. We must give it to Capricorn. That's how the energy is going to come across this week. So it's a really good week for you to outshine anybody. You know, beauty pageant here. Everybody is uh, breaking a leg in the back. <laughs> I remember that girl that didn't know what breaking a leg was. And have you seen that? But anyway. You're having everybody look at you and saying, it's fantastic that you're here. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to recognize that you're here and we're going to give you what you're worth, essentially. Like, it's a really, really good energy for you to be able to rise up through some sort of ranks, get some sort of money. Suitors, you won't be able to do that at 27 and no prospects <laughs> because this is the energy of people trying to come forward towards you, recognizing that you are somebody who's incredibly desirable and trying to find a way to make it work here. So I really do like that energy. So let us see what is coming forward here in terms of love. We have a lot of earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Finances and career. It's a really good week for your finances and career. So this one is saying that financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, which can be like you're not feeling stable, you're not feeling the growth, maybe somebody's paying attention to their work a little bit too much, and this says that's going to change. Remember, we're having this place of figuring out how to make things work to progress and get the value that you're looking for. So if you're having like, you know, people aren't prioritizing you or you're you're focusing so much on work that your love life is suffering. We're seeing a balance and we're seeing that change around over the course of the week and finding a way to make it work. So let's get your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. And I see the word fire. I don't think you're going to get fired. I just want to clarify that because I heard that. I heard somebody say, oh, I'm going to get fired. No. <laughs> Maybe there's just a fire. A fire is being lit under your rear end or something like that. I don't know. I also see the name Liz. And I see the word fair. So that's what we've got going on for Capricorn. If you've missed your zodiac sign, you can rewind and rewatch on the YouTube channel, Temperance and Sage. We're live there right now, so you can go ahead and rewind to your zodiac sign. I will also post timestamps afterwards as well, so if you can't seem to navigate it, don't worry. Just refresh after we're well done, and I will post the timestamps. So let us go ahead for Aquarius. Aquarius for the week ahead. Jumping out before I can even finish. Let us see again. You might have some false starts over the course of the week, thinking that something's going to happen. And then it's like, well, why hasn't it? Um, but by the end of the week, you're going to really see it move forward. First off, I want to say if you've been having a hard time with anybody, it does not have to be romance. Uh, it could be coworker, friend, family, who, who, you know, whomever. Uh, if you've been having a hard time and you've been feeling like you're trying to fight for this connection or you had to fight to kind of make your point, stand up for yourself in some sort of way, I see the challenging energy of that going away and I see it being replaced by love. This actually reminds me, and I don't have it with me here right now, but 
There is a Moonology Oracle card that is either the full moon or new moon in Aquarius. I can't remember, but it talks about bring love into the situation. And it literally looks like that. It looks like you're going from a troubling time where you're really having to like fight or, you know, push effort into a situation to get what you want. And all of a sudden that distance, that challenging energy is moving away. And we're having an opportunity to feel fulfilled or feel the love flow back, feel the, the goodness, the opportunity flow back into a situation situation. If you are no contact, long distance with somebody, the challenge of that is really softening up and you're finding a new way to connect. The ace is going to bring forward this newness and we're acting in love. So we're going away from challenge, from difficult energy, the I need to make this work or like I need to put an extra effort to make it work to all of a sudden things are connecting with me, flowing with me, happening, you know, with me rather than against me, right? And the Ace of Cups, uh, it is a really good energy for like overflowing love. So unconditional love, unconditional opportunity, you know, very true and genuine energy trying to come forward towards you. So if you fought your way for something, it is a golden opportunity. It doesn't also have to be in love just because we see the Ace of Cups come forward. It could just be something you love. So say you have been working your butt off for a long time, trying to get your art known and you're you're when posting on ig it's just not heading anywhere you're trying to get something to go forward and now you're looking at it five of cups like you know i've been doing this for a while and i just don't really know if it's going anywhere i just don't really know what i can do about it all of a sudden five of, of pentacles in the reverse the challenge of it goes away and there's a way to kind of connect you either with somebody or the flow of something to make it more stable to remove that challenge and the opportunity comes so you never know how things can change around from one day to another so don't give up on something especially if you've put a lot of effort and energy into it there can definitely be a way to make things happen here so let's see in terms of romance we have new love if you've been fighting it out there oh my god my friend was sending me pictures of of messages that she was getting on hinge you guys it's so sad out there <laughs> but if you've been fighting through that <laughs> like the seven of wands i do see a really good energy coming forward here for you the new love somebody new has sparked up your feelings it's a good energy to pick things up and move things forward if you um, have somebody already in your life, this is like creating some sort of newness. So going away from the routine and the mundanity of things and kind of creating this like spark up in terms of energy between the two of you. So let's go ahead and grab, grab <laughs> your Morton's initials, acronyms, names, and words. You have water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have uh, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know what though? She was also showing me the amount of people that match and then they never have a conversation. And I was just thinking like, what's the point of that? Why do you match with people? And then you don't have a conversation. It's like everybody's playing chicken. Who's gonna message first? Somebody. That could be the love of your life. <laughs> Nobody's messaging first. Or it's people that are just giving out way too many likes and then all of a sudden they have like 20 conversations that they have to try to juggle at once and so they just don't start it. Either way, it's poor planning. You have like five conversations going on at once max on a dating app. Um, unless, you know, and then keep the rest in the stack or something like that. I don't know. There's no point of, 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 of wasting it like that. What are you going to do? Pick it up six months later? Oh, that's a little weird. Never mind me. <laughs> My nonsense. Okay, so what do I see? <laughs> I see the word seat. Like maybe you're filling a seat with this idea of the new love. Maybe somebody new is coming forward into your life. There, you're creating a new seat for them. I don't know. I pray for y'all out there in the dating scene. <laughs> it's crazy. And I thought, you know what? Maybe it's just like, you know, one age group. No, it's across the board. Oh my gosh. What is online dating done to dating? I don't know. It's sad. We should, um, I would love to create like speed dating events. Should do that. It'd be super cool. All right. So let us see for Pisces. 
Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. If you missed your Zodiac sign, head over onto YouTube, Temperance and Sage on YouTube to rewatch. You can also get a personal reading on my website, temperanceandsage.com. So let's see. For Pisces, week ahead, what is your message coming forward? Ooh, I like this for you, Pisces. You have a lot of major arcanas, which is really good because it's kind of like, um, I'm going to phrase it like this in two ways. A, it's like the specialty dishes that are made by the chef only, okay? Uh, this is not made by the sous chef. This is not made by the junior. This is not made by the dishwasher they're chaining to be, you know, on the line. This is made by the specialty chef themselves, right? Then in the same sense, it's kind of like when your parents decide to let off the um, the, the training wheels on your bicycle and kind of take a step back and watch you move forward now that we've placed you on the bicycle and remove them, the, the training wheels. I see you taking a step into the pathway of unknown, which you're kind of a little bit worried about. Is it going to work out? Is it not going to work out? How can this happen, right? Like what's going to come forward out of this situation? And I see it moving forward in a way for you that is really exciting because it brings forward this unknown energy. It allows you to overcome some sort of fears and some sort of difficulties and allows you to kind of take the step into the unknown. Pisces, you might find a little disturbance or annoyance come forward this week too. My dear who's on YouTube that's just continuously typing the word Leo, I'm sorry, but I'm so, so distracted by you typing the word Leo, especially because you're not even looking at the screen here that says the order of the signs. And I, it's just so distracting. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not quite sure what you aim to do with that, but it's just so distracting. Um, Pisces. You might fall into a point of habit here when we have the high priestess come forward. You want to stay to the comfortable. You want to stay to what you know instead of allowing yourself to move forward in some sort of new direction. When it comes to this idea coming forward of the devil, you might allow fear to hold you back in some sort of way. Okay. And this is asking you to like stay, take a step forward into the unknown, take a step forward into a place that you have some hesitancies. And it's not saying that you're, you know, completely diving into, um, you know, a, a horrendous direction, but this is maybe you're worried about if you were to start that passion instead of just staying at your nine to five, maybe you're worried about sending a message to somebody instead of waiting for them to come forward towards you, right? It doesn't have to be a complete, you know, life or death. It could just be a matter of, of stepping out of your comfort zone in a pathway that you just don't travel. And so you've stayed quite um, in your little corner or in your little box instead of going after it. I see this idea of like, don't allow you to think about things but then keep them in yourself and never explore them right an opportunity can come forward at any point in time but if you're so afraid to red, you know press the red button how are you supposed to get what's what comes forward when the curtains open from pressing the red button right if the red button holds your entire dreams your wants your desires and all you have to do is push it but we're so scared of, of pushing the red button, then how are you going to get it, right? So over the course of the week, I see you having a lot of ideas, keeping a lot of things to yourself about your dreams, your wants, your desires, or just like thinking a lot on a situation. And there's going to be an important energy coming forward here of you like feeling the momentum behind you to take action, feeling the momentum behind you to like push forward into this unknown direction and like push past this fear about going there. And I think it's really important that you take that chance. Uh, Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck is like a strike up to an, a new idea, new adventure, new pathway, right? Striking up your truth, realizing the truth of a situation here. So it's like there's a good opportunity for you to speak your truth over the course of the week and move forward with this new direction for yourself. So if you have a personal reading, feel free to go ahead and uh, check out my website, temperanceandsage.com. All the zodiacs have been done except for finishing up Pisces. We have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So if you're very worried about sending a message, you know, saying how you feel, the one thing I love to hear and I love to say is you will never say the wrong thing to the right person. If you express yourself, and that person does not treat that expression very nicely, then you better be thanking every single, you know, God in the world because 
that saved you maybe months, maybe weeks, maybe, you know, years of trying to attach yourself to this person that's just not very good for you. So if you express yourself to somebody and they don't take it very well, better to you because that means you can move forward towards somebody who can, you know, reciprocate what you're looking for. So if this person is the one, if this connection around you is what you desire it to, you will never say the wrong thing to this person. It'll just be able to move forward in a way that creates a space of comfort, of security, and of uplifting energy. And sometimes we forget that. We should not be afraid to tell our partners things. So let's go ahead. These are your most important initials, acronyms, names, and words. I see the word role. So maybe you are switching up the role that you're playing in your life uh, and you're, you're trying a different one, whatever that may mean to you. But that's what we've got going on here for today. So thank you everybody for joining me here today. All the zodiac signs have been done and you can rewatch them on YouTube temperance and sage on youtube give me five minutes here to post the um, time stamps in the youtube chat if you'd like a personal reading temperance and sage um, dot com is where you can go to get a personal reading from me also if you'd like to join my patreon i am posting messages there every single day all you pay is one dollar for the entire month as just a support for doing the lives uh, and posting the messages and then a new message will come onto the patreon account every single month and it's or i should say every single day and you just pay one dollar for the entire month so if you're interested in that, Temperance and Sage on Patreon, feel free to check it out. But that's what we got going on. Also, I post on Instagram every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, pick a card reading. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, Temperance and Sage on Instagram, I post pick a card readings there three days a week. All right. So that's what we got going on here for today. I'm glad to be doing the zodiac signs as well. I think I put too much pressure on myself to do them every day, but I quite love these week ahead and weekend ahead readings. So I go live every Monday and I go live every Friday to do a message again for the week ahead and then for the weekend ahead. And it works out quite well. All right. So I will see you guys on Friday. Feel free to rewatch on YouTube, Temperance and Sage on YouTube. And I'll see you guys another day. See ya.